Hello, and welcome back to Zim Tutorials for Adobe Animate. I'm Dr. Abstract, and I'm still without internet. I've been recording a series of these tutorials. Well, I have no internet. Hey, why not? <laughs> uh, so I can't go out and show you examples, but we can continue to build. And let's take a look at what we built last time. It was a book, so right here. Ooh, isn't that cool? So we did that in a few lines of code. Um, I'll close that down. Badoop. And there we go. Basically, make a new book with a width and a height. We pass in the array of heads that we had in a folder. So this time, why don't we make a puzzle out of one of those heads? So we know that we've got some heads inside of heads slash. And we could use some of this, this code right here, but, well, we don't need it all, so we'll just start over again. And to do that, we will close that, and we will save this one as, file save as. Let's call it number 12. Sorry, that's small for you, and we will call it puzzle.fla. Okay, bring that F9 back again, and get rid of all this, and call that 12, and puzzle, puzzle, like that. So, whoop, whoop. so we're given the frame, the stage, the width, and the height. We're also wanting to bring in a book. Uh, some some assets, uh, as in images and sounds, can be lazy loaded. You can just run them. Other ones that are going to be used for operations, complex operations, like up something into a puzzle, uh, need to be preloaded ahead of time. Uh, CreateJS wants you to preload your images, and you also have images preloaded in Flash through the IDE automatically as well. In Zim, we usually load the images through the frame. Uh, here, we've already got the frame made with no no uh, way to load the images through the frame. It would be fine if you had, I think, let's see, a movie clip apparently can't be cloned. We might have a problem chopping up a movie clip then. Yeah, I expect so. But anyway, let's, um, let's just chop up uh, an image then, and we should preload that. So that's frame.loadassets. And the image we want is, say, head01 is fine, .png. And it's inside of heads, the heads directory uh, locally. Remember where that is? So in our file system here, there's heads. Heads is sitting, here's tutorials right here. Uh, I should make that a list, I think. You as a list so you can see that a bit easier. We're like right here, this is our, our uh, FLA right there, the puzzle FLA. There's a heads directory and inside that heads directory, here's what we have and we're gonna make a puzzle out of, maybe out of head three, that looks kind of cool. Let's do head three. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're loading head three from heads and if this is our only load we're welcome to just say frame dot on complete when we're ready when we get that loaded uh you might not even notice here on a computer obviously it's going to be very fast we're loading from the same computer but if you're loading a bunch of images over the internet you never know how long they're going to load which is usually why we do some sort of preloading like this by the way, the create JS preloading, you have to set up manifest, do this, do that, do that, and you're talking three or four lines of pretty uh, you know, relatively ugly looking code. We've simplified that all in load assets and even simplified it further in our Zim frame call where we could just pass in this right into the frame. But anyway, when it's complete, uh, we will call this arrow function. How do I do an arrow function? Okay, let's, it gives me two. Then I move over, okay. Uh, I'm so used to, in Atom, we get an automatic arrow function by just going AF, and so I don't usually do that. And Adobe seems to be bracket matching, which is great, but in a different way, because I keep on putting three brackets there, and I don't know why that's happening. Anyway, f.onComplete, we're gonna call, oh, with a comma in there, call this arrow function. And in here, we have our head, so that's great. It will be, for instance, new pick. Uh, let's have a look at it. Take that. <coughs> Center. Uh, I can't remember. So what happened there? Maybe I'm doing that and I shouldn't be. Okay. So Adobe does have bracket matching. So I don't need to do the second. Okay. Got it. All right. So um, dot center. 
let's see if we need an update or not. I can't remember if we do there. Uh, no, it just it showed up. And there is the head. What is going on? Oh, I copied the last one where we're still double the width and at 1024 high, uh, which might be handy. We could just set it to 1024 by 1024, 1024. So there we go. And I go Control Enter. And now we've just got the, the stage basically is the same size as that picture, which may be what you want for a puzzle. I'm not sure. Uh, we could reduce, we could scale this picture down and then chop it up. Uh, that works just fine, but I, I don't think we need to bother. So we've got a new picture. We're centering it. But what we want to do is we want to make a puzzle from that new picture. But we want to chop the picture up. So chop is a command that will chop the picture and provide a tile. So uh, dot center, and we will see a chopped picture or a chopped picture. Uh, control Enter. Uh, there we have a chopped picture now. Okay, there's slight little lines on the edges. Sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't. But anyway, there's there's a chopped up picture. And indeed, since that's a tile, if we said something like drag this, dot drag, uh, then we would get this kind of functionality where we can pick up um, each of the, the chopped pieces. And that's a chop three by three. Let's try a chop that that's the new pick comma. This would be how many times we would chop the 10 by 10. For instance, it would be um, smaller little rectangles. Okay. But if we want to make a puzzle out of it, I don't think I want to do a puzzle that's 10 by 10. Let's just choose the default 3 by 3 for now. We would make a new scrambler. So I'd like to go out and show you examples of the scrambler. And we put the other bracket on that. So in other words, we're chopping up a picture and passing that uh, t tile into the scrambler. So the tile accepts a scrambler as its first parameter, or <laughs> vice versa. Scrambler accepts a tile as the first parameter, and then it will make a puzzle from that tile. Cool, huh? So let's have a look. We don't need the drag on it anymore. Automatically assumes it. We go Control Enter, and as you can see, we have a puzzle. Ooh. Mm. I did it! And there will be an event that you get when when it's over. So you'll get a complete event. So when we're complete, we can replace this with the real picture or something like that, or re-scramble it. Uh, can I remember how to do that? Uh, shall we try it? So we'll put this in a variable. Const. I don't have internet, so I have no docs at the moment. Actually, I have a local version of the docs I could use. But anyway, const puzzle is equal to that new scrambler that's been chopped. <laughs> you can do, do this in smaller parts as well, const, well, whatever, I'm just gonna leave it. But you could do this inside in smaller parts if you want. What, what just happened there? Okay, paste it instead of so we'll do it in slightly smaller bits, pick. So we're going to chop the pick up. And uh, we've made a, a pick, there's that. And then we're chopping the pick up and that allows us to see it a little bit easier. Um, then we can say puzzle dot on. I think it's complete, hopefully. We'll call this arrow function. No problem with the arrow function that time. <clears throat> and then inside the arrow function, we can scramble again. So puzzle.scramble. Uh, I think that we can say how, how many times to scramble it, uh, how fast to scramble it. And there's another one that is a delay, like because you sometimes want to let people people wait and see it. So let's see, go to my docs here. I can do it this way. Zim dot scram. 
alert. Where am I? Oh, that's the docs. Okay, I want my actual Zim code. Beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, which is, sorry, one sec. Let's animate stuff. Zim docs. Okay, look for the scrambler. Um, okay, so, oh, and I want um, a method of the scrambler. That is the scramble right here. Oh, wait, that's whether we want time, wait, and num. All right, so the time is how long to scramble, then how long do you want to wait before you scramble, and then how many times do you want to scramble? So what is the de default? It's set, to, maybe it's set to three, we'll see. Okay, so let's do that. It was the time. Uh, one second, and how long do we want to wait? How about three seconds? Okay, there we go. So are we ready? We go control enter. We bring this back. We have to solve the puzzle. Bum, 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 bum. Shoulder, shoulder, side. Isn't this cool? Here we go. It waits three seconds. And then, oh, <laughs> so it took one second to scramble once. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, that We waited a little bit too long. So let's go two seconds. I was sort of like, is it broken? And then not only that, let's scramble three times. Hey, one, two, three. <laughs> How does that sound? So we'll take one second to scramble it three times, but we'll wait two seconds before we get to that scrambling. All right. You guys ready? Let's uh, do that again. Control enter. Bum, bum, bum. Shoulder, shoulder, head, head. Oh, I got the top there. And, oh, almost. Nope. Ah, ah, whoop. Yay, one, two, and then whomp, whomp, whomp. yay, it scrambled again. Head. Whomp, whomp. Isn't this beautiful? And one, two, and there it goes again. All right, that's so cool. That is so cool. In the last tutorial, we just made a book in like less than five minutes. Maybe you just <laughs> did the book part. <laughs> right, we, here we made a, a puzzle. And this is so handy, by the way, it doesn't all have to be, um, uh, you can chop it up into a line, for instance. Here's one column and 10 rows, for instance. And then we get this. No, nope, something broken, hang on. New scrambler, chop up. Chop goes in here, we're chopping the pick in one column and 10 rows. This stuff is for the scrambler. The scrambler's got other, other um, options too. But now, here's what you get. Isn't that cool? Let's see. Hmm. Can we solve this? That's the very top of the head. The eyes. <laughs> there we go. One, two, chop. Ah, excellent, huh? So you get the idea? And this can be handy as well if it were horizontal. You can do things like chop up um, words or something and scramble words. Well, they don't even have to be an image that you're chopping up. You can just provide a tile of words. So if I had the internet, I'd go off and show you some examples where we've made just um, labels and scramble the labels to scramble words. Very handy. Um, it's great for kids' apps as well, e-learning apps, etc. I am Dr. Abstract, and this has been a tutorial for Zim on how we can use Zim features, such as the puzzle right here in, well, there's the puzzle right there, the scrambler, right here in Adobe Animate. Uh, please come and visit us at zimjs.com slash discord or zimjs.com slash slack at slack. That's our official communication channels at slack. We have an Animate um, channel, and you're welcome to talk to us there about anything to do with animate as well all right have a great day or night cheers bye, -bye.